Hello again guys, it's Corey here. Today we're going to be replacing the vacuum pump seals on my uh, TDI here. This is the ALH engine. If you look, I have a pretty good oil leak here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this vacuum pump. And I uh, have a rebuild kit. I'm going to replace both seals. And then the line, this line here that runs to the uh, brake booster, that vacuum line there, it's cracked. As you can see right here, I'm going to replace that as well. This whole line it goes down to the brake booster here. And there's a grommet that this line uh, slides into. I'm going to replace that grommet as well. And here is the uh, rebuild kit. Includes two seals. I got this on eBay. It was 25 bucks. They even give you the torque specs here, which is nice. Here's the grommet for the brake booster. And here is that line that goes from the vacuum pump to the brake booster itself. And this is what goes into that grommet. And there's the part number for the line. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect uh, this vacuum line here. The only thing we'll need to do, this um, clamp here, you have to replace with a hose clamp. So we'll do that because this isn't reusable, this clamp here. You have to pry that off and remove that line to replace with our new one. So this uh, little vacuum line here, just slide it out of the the clip here, same with down below, this one here is broken off as you can see and there's one more right there. Just get around here and uh, pop it off like so. I'm actually going to remove this intake tube here to give me a little more room when I'm working here with these vacuum lines. It's simple. You just do is squeeze this uh, clamp in here and slide it down It allows you to pull this uh, intake tube away and same with down here as well. There we go. Now we have a lot more room here. So you can see this line here is what we're replacing. So we pull this little vacuum line off this nipple here. Just work it. There we go. Let's push it off to the side. And uh, this vacuum line here. You have to pull it away from this brake booster. should just pop right out of that little grommet. I managed to loosen this clamp up. Actually I just got a screwdriver and pried underneath here and was able to um, loosen it because it's clipped on this piece here. So just slide that out of the way and now we can go ahead and wiggle this right off the vacuum pump. So that's free. Here's the old vacuum line and I removed the grommet as well. It was in there pretty snug. It probably didn't need replaced but I'm going to do it anyway while I'm at it. But it looks like somebody pieced together this rubber hose here. If you look at this, um, it must have broken and they decided to use this piece of rubber hose. Yeah. And it was cracked up here pretty good. So I'm glad I'm replacing this. The new one you can see looks a lot better. Now we can remove the bolts that hold this vacuum pump in place. This is a 13 millimeter. This first one here, this is the easiest one to get at. So I'll go ahead and uh, loosen this up. Okay, the next uh, nut we need to remove is in the back here, and it's it holds this bracket on. It's 10 millimeter that holds that bracket on here that holds the vacuum line in place. This, so I get my socket down in here over top of it, like so. You can see that uh, nut there. So you have to take that off first before you can. Um, get access to the uh, 13 millimeter uh, bolt. 
Okay, that nut is removed, so now I can slowly remove this bracket. Well, actually, you can't because it's still held on down below here. You have to do the same thing down there, remove that 10 millimeter nut. All right, this last nut here is a little tricky because it's in a tight spot. So you can't really get a, um, you can get a socket on there, but you can't get the ratchet on. So what I did was I took one of my cheap 10 millimeter sockets, got my grinder, made a flat spot on this side as well as this side. And if I show you here, I'll set this up and my half inch open end wrench fits over that perfectly. So I was able to use that in that tight spot and loosen that right up. So now that's loose, I can go the rest of the way by hand. And then this uh, bracket, see it's loose now, will come off. Okay, here's what that bracket looks like once it's removed. Now if your other uh, vacuum line clip is still intact, it would be in this location, but mine has snapped off and is still stuck on the uh, vacuum line here. So yeah, we can set this aside and proceed. Okay, to remove this bolt in the back here, you have to use a uh, 13 millimeter deep well so that it'll clear that stud. And the one in the front here, you can use an open end wrench on because there's not enough room for a deep well socket. Okay, for the bottom bolt, just put your um, wrench on there like so. And go ahead and loosen. Okay, the vacuum pump is now loose. Pull this one up. Okay. There we go. You can see that seal there. It's shot. We will replace that. And then we can remove those three uh, torque screws to get to that uh, seal and the cover there. Okay, now is a good time to clean up all this mess here, wipe it up, wipe up all the uh, dirty oil and everything before you install. Alright guys, the first thing you're going to want to do here is remove this old seal. And set it aside and throw it away. And then you're going to need to clean this channel here really well before you install the new one. Okay, now we can remove these three torque screws. They are T30. So you take your T30 star head here, and it fits in there perfectly. Go ahead and remove those three. Okay, these aren't in here very tight at all. If you just hold the vacuum pump with one hand and then go ahead and loosen with the other. It's pretty easy. Alright, now this cover can be removed. So I just stuck a screwdriver under here and gently uh, broke it loose. So now I'm going to slowly lift up on the cover. Have rags ready because you'll have some oil that will seep out of here. And this is the seal you'll want to replace here. So go ahead and remove the seal. They gave us a new one in the kit. This one's uh, pretty flattened here. Just be careful guys, this is aluminum. So you don't want to um, nick this in any way. And throw this away and we'll clean this up real good and then uh, replace the seal with a new one. And uh, take your pump here and uh, just wipe up this oil and everything, it's a mess. Alright guys, I removed that old seal, cleaned it up pretty good. That's the key, you want to get this channel super duper clean. And you take your new seal out of that kit and you slowly set it in this channel here. And it will take shape of the channel like so. Now 
Okay. So once that's in there, you can go ahead and put it back on your vacuum pump. Just be sure the surface here that it's mating to is clean. And then we'll uh, go ahead and tighten those three screws up. Okay, I'm going to gently set this down over top here. Okay, and we'll lift up, line it up, <clears throat> and then flip it over to the back side. Now you can insert your screws. These only get torqued to uh, 10 newton meters or 7 foot pounds, so it's not very tight at all. Okay, we are ready for our other seal here. Uh, make sure this is nice and clean. I cleaned this really well here. You don't want any debris getting in there. Uh, inspect the seal first, make sure it's in good shape. No dirt or anything on it. Then we can go ahead and install. slides right into place. Now it's ready to go back on the cylinder head. We're ready to install the vacuum pump here. So you want to make sure this surface is nice and clean. And when you go to insert, make sure it's lined up. This slot here can only go on one way. You see what I mean here? This part here that drives the pump itself needs to be lined up with the slot there. Okay, I have all the bolts in here. They're just hand tight, but everything went well. So these get torqued to uh, 10 newton meters or 7 foot pounds as well. Okay, the vacuum pump is on. Everything's torqued. The bracket is on. Now we can go ahead and install that hose. First, I'm going to go ahead and put that grommet in the brake booster there. It's fairly simple. Just make sure it seats in there nicely, make sure everything's nice and clean. And then we can install that hose. Okay, the grommet is in. Now for the hose. Simply just pushes right in here. Get it lined up. And push it in. This is a very tight fit. Alright, I got that hose in there. That was a little bit of a challenge. You really have to apply a lot of force to get that in there. Uh, the next step here would be to connect this other end of the pump itself. Just go ahead and slide this over and don't forget to put your hose clamp on because we can't reuse that uh, uh, OEM clamp that was on there unless you have a special tool. I don't have that. So this hose clamp here will work. So just gently slide this over. There we go. And slide your clamp down here and tighten that up. Uh, don't forget the little vacuum line here. Put this in place. Okay, that goes there, and you can connect this back up, clip down below here, okay, and that is it. Okay guys, everything's back together here, pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.